All righty, Reddit Insanity, where people post the dumbest things they can possibly think of onto Reddit. I'm Michael. I'm Noah. Let's start. First one is by Boffy Bisted. <laughs> this person puts, yesterday was a normal day. And as usual, my 14-year-old son uh, was having his post-school screen time. He's a good kid, so I don't hover too much. I went to check on him and noticed he quickly minimized whatever he was watching. What the hell you look at that boy? <laughs> he said it was just, just a gaming stream. And I let it slide, but something fell off. <laughs> a bit later, I went back to offer him a drink and caught a glimpse of his screen before he could close it. He was watching one of those hot tub streams, kick, uh, kick streamer, uh, uh, Amaranth. Oh, Amaranth, yeah. yeah. For those who don't know. I do, because I'm a pervert. It's basically a streamer in swim, uh, swimwear, sitting in hot tubs, chatting with viewers. It's not explicit, but definitely more on the suggestive side. I agree with that. <laughs> Uh, I tried to handle it calmly and asked him why he was watching it. He got embarrassed and mumbled about being popular. It being popular. I gotta get, get on, girl. I I explained that while these streams aren't outright bad, they're not exactly suitable for his age. <laughs> How old is he? Six? Fourteen. It's not bad. It's probably well. Uh, well, let, let, that, let that boy, you know, blossom into his perverted self. <laughs> let him turn into the next no way. <laughs> let him goon. <laughs> Uh, I told him that he needs to be careful about what he watches online. He seemed pretty embarrassed, and I let uh, I left him to think of, uh, think it over. He just pulled that shit right back. <laughs> he probably. Now I'm second guessing myself. Should I have been stricter? Should I trust him to make better choices? I'm also thinking about whether I need to set more restrictions on his internet use. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna find it. I mean, of course, he can't find anything now on the internet. Pretty much, and it's not gonna get any better. <laughs> like. He's going to go down that rabbit hole and then come back to reality eventually. <laughs> like, no way, dude. He looked at everything and now it's all the normal stuff. <laughs> he went so far down the rabbit hole. I went so far down the rabbit hole, it burnt my fucking man. It gave me nine omnipotence. <laughs> nine omnipotence of all sexual matters. I can see the past, present, and future of sex. <laughs> like, talk to me in his dick. So, yeah, he, 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 he's going to. So, I've seen it all. <laughs> You seen it all, and, and now, now you, back to, you went back to plain bread. And now, now my well, I've seen everything. So now, uh, so that's why my stuff is so boring now. <laughs> I learned what I like, and it ain't that dark deep. Not really. <laughs> like uh, uh, some new yoga. I'm like I can watch that shit for three hours straight. A woman do some naked yoga. <laughs> I'm very boring in my actual. Uh, real like my actual like uh, you'll see something like you got a curiosity mm -hmm. but like the stuff you really want to you know uh what's the word what's the tax for word for it jack off to is more like uh, boringly tame for the, the normal people's people now want to see some weird shit like people fucking pumpkins or step <laughs> step parents shit you don't want the stepsister shit um no <laughs> a simple man all righty next one is by uh j2 ho <laughs> j2 ho this person puts this is not satire I wish it was. Let me start with that. My partner is staying in my house for the week while my parents are away. We're doing the typical boyfriend-girlfriend stuff. You know, sleeping together, sex, cuddling, kissing, showering together, etc. My boyfriend takes significantly longer showers than I do. He spends about 20 minutes uh, in an hour. I just washing his asshole. He spends 20 minutes to an hour, basically. Is what that's a long time. for Damn, that's a long fucking time. I typically spend 10 to 15 minutes. Exactly. Still, like, just clean yourself up and go. 20 minutes is still quite a bit, though. 20 minutes, yeah. Like, anything That's past... a long shower. Like, yeah, like 13 max. No, yeah. like, I can see, like... Uh... Unless, unless, like, I can see 20 minutes if, like, you've had a long day. You're just standing there? Yeah, just like, oh, I let that water just fucking, uh, just, like, wipe this in away. But generally... Wash this in away. Generally, though, 20 minutes is a long time. That is, too. Uh, but then the hour is the longest. Shit. The water had been cold by that point. Yeah. We had uh, we had a shower a few days ago, and I uh, left to get dried, giving him some alone time. He likes to spend uh, some time by himself to meditate. Little did I know, this meditation of the day was merely time for him to for him to plot. To plot? Once I plot heard... Or fucking murder? Once I heard the water go off, I went to give him a towel. I took it by accident and admired his naked body inside of the water mist, uh, the water mist, a hazy mist. <laughs> Naturally, I got curious. While he was air drying, waiting for me to hand him a towel, 
I went up to him and played with a dingling. You know, if you gotta say it like that, you should not be doing anything with anybody. <laughs> I was just hitting it off my, my hand while he was drying his hair. Like <laughs> <laughs> well, smacking the shit out of it. <laughs> it was uh, it was limp, so it, uh, I, it was hitting off of my hand quite easily, <laughs> and it felt good against my palm. You, uh, you know, those door stoppers that, that people play with? That was the way I was hitting it. <laughs> Jesus, girl. Back and forth, up and down, not sexually. Just curious about the male body as a, uh, as I, uh, as an assigned female at birth. At one point, he, he told me, squeeze and pull. <laughs> Though this was the beginning of some, I, I, thinking that this was beginning of some sort of uh, shower sex, I did. This was a mistake. After my gentle grip then wrapped around his pee-pee, and I tugged a little, little. Jesus. I heard him rip the fattest, juiciest, earth-breaking fart I have ever heard in my whole life. So that's his trigger point? <laughs> you pull on his dick and he farts? His little trick was the equivalent of the pull-my-finger trick. Yeah, that's what I just assumed. With a bit more spice. <laughs> he was laughing his head off while I retracted myself in disgust. I left the bathroom raging at his stupid prank while the smell of the fart lingered behind oh, me. The carton behind him just fucking smeared with shit. <laughs> it just shot out <laughs> liquid shit. Yeah, basically. Uh, that's how she ends the story. I don't blame her. Next one is by Anxious Donut 563. This person puts, it said that they had to put the 563. That means there was 562 <laughs> other Anxious Donuts. I work as a server in a small restaurant, and I'm pretty sure everyone knows that whenever a customer doesn't finish their meal or ask for it to be boxed up, we obviously throw it away. But for the past few weeks or so, instead of throwing the food away, after my customers are done with their meal, I have been eating the leftover remains on their plates. Damn, what? I'm getting starving. <laughs> I read that, and it's like, oh my god. Ugh. I can already tell something weird happened. Like they found some like fucking uh, cigarette butt or something off. We are not allowed to do this, so I just quickly scarfed it down whenever I returned the place to the back, whenever no one was looking. I was going okay until I suddenly got sick. Turned out I had hepatitis A. Jesus <laughs> Christ! It's been awful. I couldn't hold down food for days. Not to mention that I have not looked at uh, that I've been looking like a minion for a week now. Hepatitis A. I had no choice but to report it at work and also decided that it was a good idea to come clean about how I probably got it, which almost got me fired. I'm lucky that I got away with only a warning, but I also can't work for the next two weeks. I guess it's the consequences of my own actions. At least I still have a job. Yeah. And hepatitis A. Don't eat off of other people's fucking plate. You nasty bitch. <laughs> I just don't like to lick in the plates whenever they're taking them back. <laughs> I just imagine, yeah, like they're, they're coming up that, uh, they're coming down the, the walkway to the kitchen. Uh, uh, like, and the plate's clean. Like, you nasty motherfucker. Like, you're, they're playing the role of a dog. Like, basically, he's eating the scraps after that. But man, they don't get hepatitis. Get A? I don't know. You don't get that even from a dog. But Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Is that? What person was that? What disease did this other person have that just gave him hepatitis A? It was like Keith Richards has every disease known to man. <laughs> All right, next one is by uh, Yo Gingo. Not Yo Gringo, but Yo Gingo. <laughs> this person put, I work as a customer service representative, as a telephone operator, uh, as well as a handing email inquiries. I used to work in the office, but ever since the pandemic, I solely work from home now. The amount of inquiries, aka job, I have to handle really depends on amount of customers using my company's services and how the system is holding up. Today was a very boring day. Barely anybody was needing other help or needing our help, and the number of inquiries was scarce. So I thought it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a bad idea to take a short nap, maybe about thirty minutes. I placed AutoClick Grid on a communication tool and used the notifications on, uh, turned the notifications on and bumped up the volume so that whenever I received a loud ringing, I would wake up. Uh, it would wake me up for sure. Turned out it was a bad idea. Whenever I woke up about uh, after 30 minutes, I got two messages from my boss asking me what the hell I'm doing. While I was asleep, I did not miss any calls because there was none. However, 
I slipped on messages from my colleagues asking me about other email-based inquiries. I answered their questions immediately and finished my job, leaving no inquiries unanswered by the time shift is over. However, my boss is still suspicious after uh, still suspicious, saying I haven't been able to focus on the job, and I was away for more than an hour, which is not the case, but it is true that I was sleeping on the job. Mm. The boss says that I still need to explain myself and what I was doing for an hour next morning. I was taking a shit. I guess I have to spill my guts and say, good old, I swear that this will never happen again. <laughs> we all know that's a fucking lie. <laughs> Next day, just pass out again. <laughs> it's fucking dead asleep in the back of your house. Exactly. Next one is by Kitchen Opening 4005. This person puts, today I was walking my wonderful miniature dash hounds uh, when I received, and whenever I reached a field. Sorry. Uh, he just turned two, and he's full of energy, so I thought he could run around a bit. He was having a blast sniffing things and playing chase with me. It wasn't too hot, the clouds covering the blasting rays of the sun, my dog was dashing like a headless chicken. Energy I won't have to ent- entertain later. Life was good. Interesting fucking word to a headless chicken. So random, that's, <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was weird to me. Yeah. We walked a little bit, and he was going ahead. He's the parade leader. Once in a while, he'd stop and uh, stop and lag to inspect something, but I called him back each time, to which he paddled fast uh, ahead again. He uh, trapsed. What the fuck is trapsed? Probably traipsed. Traipsed? Yeah. Yeah. He traipsed and traipsed. Tail wagging. Traipsed and traipsed. That doesn't sound at all. Yeah. Well, traipsing is like just, you know, frolicking, so. Traipsed and traipsed, so frolicked and frolicked. I guess that's what they're trying to say. I don't know. It's a word I haven't used very often, so, you know. Uh, <laughs> he was behind again, and I called him. His little face almost looked like he was smiling as he ran to my feet. I grabbed his face behind his ears and gave him a big smooch on his cheek. Instantly, I knew something was wrong. Oh, so terribly wrong. Some sort of horrible texture covered my lips. Under my nose as well. My eyes darted to his cheek. Brown smudge covered He's his red fur. Did he do the thing that my dog used to do? It was fucking lather themselves in some other dog's shit. Right, right. Yes. <laughs> I held my breath, for I knew what was to come. Alas, I was never uh, the best in gym and couldn't hold my breath for long. Inhale. A lovely layer of putrid feces-covered air violated my airways. I felt it crawl deep inside so much so that it, my very soul ached. I looked at my dog. He looked at me, unknowing of what he had just done. I spat on the ground and took notice of the long walk around the lake back to my home. <laughs> Gotta walk all the way back. <laughs> Don't kiss the dog. You're gonna get sick, my mom always told me. <laughs> well. I raced, my, um, I raced my dog back home, covering my face from watchful neighbors. <laughs> Just a fucking face full of shit. <laughs> I washed my face five times with dish soap and rinsed my mouth out with it too. Dog was next. I will always look before I kiss him now. Yeah, I don't know why dogs do that. I'm so glad that mine never did. <laughs> so glad. All right, next one is by uh, World World Il- God, I, I can't even read now. Uh, world Illness Quiet. It's a weird word. What hurt me? World Illness. <laughs> this happened yesterday. Uh, let's see. This happened yesterday by, I guess it's supposed to be but, I'm feeling the effects today. Let me preface by saying I don't really do weed. Let me preface. <laughs> the only reason I had these gummies is that my and my cousin had left them here after visiting from out of t- out of state. After mostly having forgotten about these gummies, I found them last week and decided to take one. I chewed it up and swallowed it immediately. Let's the, go. The effects were gradual and very mildly uh, mild at first. I don't know why you put mildly. Uh, yesterday, I had routine cleaning at my dentist. I haven't been flossing as regularly as I should. But let's just say I don't floss at all. (laughs) Let's just say my gums were a bloody mess afterwards. (laughs) Anyway, wait, we're fucking dentists. I've been to the dentist when they fly like my like six months checkup. Yeah, they never fucked up my teeth that I'm bleeding. What the fuck kind of flossing are they doing to you? (laughs) Jesus. Anyways, I decided I was going to have a chill afternoon and take a gummy. However, this time without thinking about it, I just sucked on it and let it dissolve in my mouth. The effects came on strong and fast. I was too high to function. I was basically melting into my couch in the entire afternoon until I went to bed. This morning, I wake up and I'm still feeling high, although it is much milder now. 
Even so, I still have to call off work. No way I was going to be able to function well at work today. Hey, man, I can't come in, man. Yeah. I'm fucking tripping balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one is by uh, Rabbit Stoat. It's a person puts. I bought myself some shrimp at a seafood counter, and that night made a nice teriyaki stir fry with some veggies and rice. Since I made a few servings but live alone, I put the leftovers in the fridge for the next day. That night, I felt a little stomach sick. It was uh, just a mild, nauseous feeling, no vomiting or diarrhea. So, it was uncomfortable, but not a huge deal. Only, I wasn't sure it was, if it was the shrimp dish I ate, or something I ate earlier in the day. Or just some stomach bug. Or just my digestive system being fussy, as it is sometimes for no good reason. But the scientific method sort, uh, being the scientific, uh, scientifically minded sort, I decided it was best to investigate. I had posted on social media about the meal and uh, feeling slightly sick, and how I was going to eat the leftovers, and my friends told me that I was dumb. And that I should just throw them away just to be safe. The dumbest son of a bitch ever lived. <laughs> Obviously, these were not scientifically minded friends. Where would civilization be if no one had the curiosity to pursue scientific investigation? Yeah, by the way, scientists do experiments on other things, other people. Not yourself. Not on your, yeah. So yeah, it was the shrimp dish. I was the sickest I had been after eating those leftovers out of both ends with crippling stomach cramps. I was supposed to fly out to Key West for the weekend, too, and had to cancel. Great choice. I lost out on one night's uh, hotel cost for the cancellation, but got the rest refunded. The flight credit for the flight I had to cancel. I spent the entire weekend miserable and only barely recovered from Monday work. Now, I did have one last uh, serving of the shrimp in the fridge. <laughs> a less curious Let's make sure this was the actual thing that got me sick. Let's try it again. A less curious person would assume if you got sick twice after eating the same dish, there was something wrong with the dish and that you should definitely not eat it. I, being a more curious person, knew that you couldn't roll a classy in the dumbest motherfucker <laughs> ever lived. With 100% certainty, and to be uh, better verified that the shrimp was the culprit, I should try it again. Wow, fucking genius. However... My less curious friends who heard of my plans insisted that I was an idiot and that eating four-day-old shrimp that was most likely food poisoned me twice already was beyond moronic. I reluctantly caved and threw it away, thus setting scientific progress back years, probably. He goes into the trash and you can just hear his sizzling in there. <laughs> uh, next one is by Closeted. Closeted? Closeted. Well, this person puts... This is a super embarrassing, and I seriously hope none of you make the mistake I made last night. I'd love psych uh, I've loved psychedelics for years. <laughs> I've had my ups and downs during experiences, but I've always managed to keep my mental state together enough to differentiate between real issues and perceived ones. Last night, I attended a show, nothing I'd planned in advance, but a group I've always enjoyed. Nonetheless, I got some of them boomer. Uh, I got some boomers off a friend last night. And ate a slice. Boomers. Holy shit. I heard of that. Boomers. My guy. I don't either. I don't do drugs, so I don't know. Damn. Uh, off of a friend last night, ate a slice on the ride up there. Ate a slice? What the? I thought it was a pill. Uh, within about half an hour, I started having very strange physical symptoms. Tingling extremities, chest pain. Not your typical mushroom sensations. Oh, they're shrooms. Okay. I sat myself down and tried to collect myself. After all, I'd taken these... Uh, these rooms or sorry these booms before i wonder if he's meaning shrooms i don't know that's what i was that's like a when it's auto and it's auto correcting to booms i don't know i just assume it's a, it's a slang term for shrooms like boomers could be yeah because he called he started with boomers didn't he yeah yeah so it probably just uh, one of their words for it boomers. i'm not a drug addict so i don't know i only i only uh, indulge in the drug that is sex <laughs> Think from Pandora. <laughs> Release the sins. Uh, thinking you're going to die on high dose psychedelics isn't a common thing, but it isn't all that uncommon either. I just th I don't think I didn't think it would ever happen to me. If I'm uh, dose that heavily, uh, usually texting is out of the question. I have very little recollection of. I have very little recollection of this occurring, but I texted everyone: mother, sister, best friends, ex best friends. Uh, who I wanted to make up with that I was going to die. 100%. Wow, good tonight. job. I texted his ex-girlfriends, who I never really think uh, about anymore, wonderfully abstract poetry saying goodnight and goodbye, essentially. 
I'm not all sure why I had these symptoms uh, that I had, but apparently they didn't manifest any further. I didn't come back to myself enough to realize what I had done until the car ride back. Now self-pity uh, now self -pity and embarrassment beyond anything I know. The only good thing I see coming from this uh, actually ended up saying some things to people that I only think I would have said uh, had I honestly thought about it in my last sentence to them. Friends, and I guess there's something that I had to say about that. Hmm. So. He doesn't say, like, uh, what they said back. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, no. The worst is, like, it's, no, no, no one responded at all. It's like, <laughs> no, oh, <they're> fuck. <laughs> I got no responses. Uh, next one is by LeBrothet. Let's press some bits. I've been making, and uh, I've been moving, and there's some random things in my car, and I live in Texas. Most of the things in my car won't melt. Clothes, bath mats, uh, bath mats towels, etc. But moving takes up a lot of space, and there's small things that I missed. I guess the toilet bowl cleaner, fresh under the sink, wrapped in plastic, was left on the passenger seat as I was intended to bring it immediately. Bring it in immediately. You know those cleaners that hang on the side of the bowl with the metal hanger like aluminum? Mm -hmm. Well, whenever I grabbed my bag from the passenger seat, I got caught on the hanger of the chemical toilet seat cleaner wrapped in plastic at the bottom. It was burning inside of my car all day. Whenever I got to my car to drive home, my butt started burning. I checked that it wasn't the seatbelt and kept sitting on it and t kept sitting in it while my dr uh, while it drenched through my pants and kept burning my butt. I thought the seat was too hot and would cool down quickly. Whenever I finally got up to check, the chemicals were splashed around the inside of the plastic and had put uh let's see. Whenever I finally got up to check, the chemicals were splashing around inside the plastic. And I had to put my shirt in my pants to hold off until I could drive to the quick trip bathroom. I still couldn't let my butt touch the seat even while the shirt blocking my butt. Here I am washing the chemicals off uh, my burning red behind. What? The? He sat in chemicals? I guess that's what he's saying. Well, how would it end up from the passenger seat to the driver's side? I don't know. I don't understand. Like I know I'm like more time. I know I'm. Used. I know I'm confused sometimes, or I fuck up whenever I'm reading. But it's like what? <laughs> Damn. And last one for today. Push my limit is the is the person that put this in here. This person puts so technically last night, but still, me and the missus decided to uh, get down and do the dirty. Everything was going great. New positions, newer sensations, taking our time with it. All in, a, uh, all in all, fantastic. <laughs> then, as she uh, as she so wants to do, she whispered, "Doggy," to my ear. I love doggy position, so did not hesitate in the slightest. Uh, let me roll the book back on. <laughs> <laughs> Flipping her over and just rushing straight in. Mistake number one was going too fast. Mistake number two was not making sure I was going incorrectly. Number three. Oh, did you start the asshole? Was not using or enough did, lube. Or did he hit the fucking wall? As I went in, I felt a god-awful snap and was immediately bent over, doubled in pain. <laughs> he broke his dick? I pulled out, and what I saw, uh, I had snapped my frellum. Mm. And by snapped, I mean completely snapped. Jeez. Not a tear or a cut, completely snapped in two. Blood was going everywhere. I immediately threw up and started crying. <laughs> the, the only fucking uh, uh, response that you... I mean, that's the only reasonable response to that situation. Start fucking crying. So now I cannot masturbate or have sex for over a month. God dang. And my wife is getting blue walls and blames me for going too fast, too furious. <laughs> Imagine, like, that's a lot of blood up there. Yeah. It fucking shoots at your fucking... Oh, man. See, so I just gotta fucking lie down for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just not. <laughs> that was one guy that uh, I was watching one of those. Uh, the ER sent me to the to or sex sent me to the ER. Yeah, yeah. And this guy had just fucking just thrown him. No, no. The woman, he he she had tossed him on the bed and he had jumped on him right, and and like you know like they uh, there's like a like a whole like uh, like feral fucking moment. Right. So she fucking lunges on him and I guess she lands right on his dick, his hard dick, and like she hits it in such a spot. That when she fucking rolls over, the blood just shoots out. So it did like a fucking fountain. Oh. Like a fucking uh, Tarantino movie. Just does a, oh, God. And he's just like, ah. 
I would be too. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah, you guys gotta be careful. Yeah. Them girls be they be too rough sometimes. A little bit too rough sometimes. Cock only takes so much. <laughs> it's not made of bone. <laughs> no. At least then it would have some integrity to it. Was it was made of fucking bone. It should be like it would be the same size all the time, wouldn't it? Mm hmm Yeah, that'd be fucking awkward to walk around with fucking hard ons all the time. Sure. I guess like like if you think about it like uh uh like uh evolutionary, right? Like if that was like how like if that how if that was how it was, right? It would just be a, a normal thing. Yeah. Like they'd always be hard and that, that would just be like how society would work and function. Yeah. Weird, huh? Or if you're uh if you if you uh Go by uh, Robin Williams. Uh, it's the accordion style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he calls the other curtains. <laughs> that would be a, a whole change of our fucking uh, society if the, the dicks were always hard. Yeah. They were boned. It's like, come on now, get get to be boned. But if they were boned, it'd be a lot tougher too. Yeah. But then at the same time, like. If you broke one though. <laughs> <laughs> you, maybe they put some titanium on there <laughs> make it stronger uh, how would that even fucking work a, a bone cock I don't know if it would that's, that's what I'm saying like I don't think it yeah imagine that connected to your pelvis like it had to be a muscle but it's not a muscle either is it or is it just tissue it's just tissue damn I gotta read more I gotta read up more on biology <laughs> I mean, you should more know more about the human. You should, you should have been reading up more on biology after you learned about the new spots. Oh yeah, the A spot, the P spots. I was so fucking confused about. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I gotta keep studying. <laughs> knowledge is power. I want to be the, the most knowledge pervert on the planet. <laughs> All right. Anything else to uh, add before we head out today? Just go easy, girls. Please. You don't want to see a fucking fountain of pit. Oh, imagine like it, it, like it happened a certain way, right? Where the, the the blood just fucking hits her in the face. Then they they both be fucking traumatized. Be like a fucking horror movie. <laughs> All right, with that we will see you guys on the next one.